Welcome back, humble traders. Today, I'll be doing a technical breakdown on Walt Disney Company, ticker symbol DIS. Before we begin, remember to take a second to give the video a like and subscribe as it greatly help out the channel. Do note that I do not provide any buy or sell calls, but focus on potential traps laid up by the market makers. Without further ado, let's take a look at uh, Walt Disney. So you can see that uh, the Walt Disney had a good uptrend in somewhere in 2020 to about 2021. You see that there was a nice uptrend here. And currently now we are being um, currently on a downtrend. You can see that we are way below the clouds. So on the way down, if we are below the clouds, that means we are on a downtrend. If we are above the clouds, that means we are on an uptrend. So Walt Disney is currently on a, a downtrend. And it seems that uh, this 129 support here is being uh, threatened. You can see that it was being tested, um, currently being the third time testing this one 129 support. So it is very critical that we see some buyers coming back at these support levels because if we do not get a triple bottom, then potentially we may break down further. But if we do get a, a triple bottom, we may potentially just punch up to around these cloud levels here at around, say, let me see, check what is this, around 138 to 139. So the joy may be short-lived and we are starting to create uh, lower lows and also lower highs. So you can see that there's a lower high here. There's also a lower high here. So it's not a good sign means that the downtrend is uh, still persists. So where exactly are my potential supports coming in for uh, this particular counter? So my first support that I'm looking at is will be a 122. You can see that uh, previously there was some uh, previous resistance here. 122 and then after it became support. So 122 itself is a um, good uh, potential support coming in from uh, Disney. However, if we were to break down further, then things may start to turn ugly. Let's take a look at this first wave down here all the way uh, to somewhere here. So this first wave was around one eight, uh, high of 187, 188, and all the way to a low of 140. So that's a drop of $50. And uh, you can see that the second wave that we are looking at may be potentially heading towards this level of 113, 114 levels where we did see some uh, buyers coming into support at these levels. So that's still quite far away and looking at it, we still have this 122 uh, support that needs to be broken down first before we can actually see this 113 to 114. And of course, this will take some time. You can see that if uh, 128, 129 were to break down and if there's no stop hunting here where the retail investors actually put their stop losses here. And if you were to break down with high volume and maybe perhaps two to three days where we stay below this 128, 129, then that will not be a good sign. We may potentially hit uh, 122 and then go back up to test this uh, previous support turning into resistance. So this previous support here has now turned into resistance and thereafter we may potentially slide down all the way to 113 to 114 before we see some uh, buyers stepping in once again. So let's take a look at the Fibonacci on the entire scale to get a better idea of uh, where exactly our potential supports coming in. So you can see that at this level here, uh, we have actually already broken down this uh, 50% uh, Fibonacci level, which was here. So you can see some bounce, a good bounce coming in from here. And now we are looking to test this 126.64 around these levels here. So if 126 were not to hold, then uh, we may slide to these levels at 108, which is still quite far away. And this 126 uh, better hold in the upcoming sessions ahead. Let's take a look at the uh, monthly chart to get a better idea of where do we exactly stand. So let's take a look at the monthly chart. The monthly chart tells us that we uh, are actually struggling uh, I'm approaching the cloud soon. So that is a potential uh, supports coming up. You will see that Walt Disney actually uh, managed to find some supports, usually just below the clouds because below the clouds, that's where most people actually put their stop losses. So you can see in uh, March 2020, we did see a very long uh, lower shadow in this uh, candlestick, in this monthly candle, where we actually scoop below the clouds but we managed to close back above it. So likewise, we may be looking at the same scenario here where the market makers actually flush the stock all the way to this low before uh, continuing the trend back up again. And with that being said, it's, it's still still quite far away and it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it wouldn't be too good to actually project too far a particular price target unless we see more development coming up. So yeah, just a recap. If 128, was to break down with good volume, with heavy volume, we may expect to see some more downside to about 122 and we were to um, see more selling pressure, we may visit 113 to 114 levels. So if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe as you keep the upturn channel intact. Leave a comment below if you have any other stock tier requests. Till we meet again, appreciate the manipulation.